Airflow measurement is an important part of our everyday lives. Technicians in the HVAC industry rely on important data to ensure that fans, blowers, air conditioners, and heat exchangers are being used to their full potential. Hot wire anemometers are a popular tool for measuring air velocity, particularly in indoor environments. These devices are suited to monitoring airflow around HVAC systems, flow hoods, and exhaust systems. Portable airflow meters are a convenient way to measure flow rates of air in an HVAC system. HVAC rely on instruments that provide measurement data in order that precise control of air flows and temperatures are maintained, as well as designing systems that ensure better energy efficiency. Here's how to operate a hot wire anemometer, a handy tool for measuring air velocity and temperature. First, remove the battery cover and install the battery. Make sure it's securely in place. Next, insert the sensor probe into the device jack. This probe includes a sensor for airflow or velocity and a thermistor to measure temperature. One of the advantages of this probe is its flexibility. It can be extended and bent, making it easy to reach ducts and other hard to access areas. To power on the device, press the power button. You'll see an eight second countdown on the screen. Once the countdown finishes, the device will be ready to use. To make the display easier to read, press and hold the bulb button to turn the backlight on or off. As you can see, this is the default display. When measuring velocity, the LCD screen will show the air velocity and temperature readings. In this case, it's displayed in meters per second which is the default. To change the unit of measurement, press the unit button. You can select from several options such as meters per second, kilometers per hour, feet per minute, knots, or miles per hour. Under the velocity display, you'll also see the temperature unit. To switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, long press the unit button. By default, it's set to Celsius. To switch from velocity measurement to airflow measurement, simply press the flow button. To change the wind flow unit, press the unit button. Each press will toggle between CMM or CFM. CMM or cubic meters per minute is for square meters while CFM or cubic feet per minute is for square feet. By default, the unit is set to CMM. Next, we will adjust the duct area. Press and hold the area button for three seconds to enter editing mode. Now, use the up and down buttons to adjust the duct area value to your desired number. If you need to add a decimal point, simply press the period button. Once you have entered the correct area value, press the reset button to set the value. And when you're done, Press Reset again to return to the main display. Now that your area and airflow units are set, you're ready to test the airflow. Just remember to place the probe in the airflow with the air direction, matching the direction of the arrow printed on the tip part of the probe. The device also comes with software that allows you to record, save, and print your data. Simply connect the anemometer to your computer using the provided cable. That's it. You've successfully adjusted your airflow and duct area settings. You're now ready to measure air velocity and flow with your hot wire anemometer. For more information, visit flowmeters.ph.